Should you watch Inside Out 2? Well, if you're okay with a simplified yet enjoyable portrayal of the complicated yet beautiful thing that is our emotions, then you probably like the first one. And you'll probably enjoy this one too. Is it a good film? Yeah! For the most part, the first one did a wonderful job in personifying the five core emotions while making you feel your own and introducing this wonderful message that is, sometimes feeling sadness is needed. And for most of it, Inside Out 2 does the same for its new emotions and its new message. There are both mid and end credit scenes. They're not important to the plot or story, but they are fun, so stick around if you want to watch. And technically, you could enjoy this movie without watching the first, but it's more enjoyable if you do. So, should you watch this? Yeah! As long as you're okay with a packed theater. Otherwise, it's perfectly okay to wait until it's streaming. I personally think this would benefit from watching at home, in your room, snuggled up under a blanket. Or in the living room, surrounded by family. I give Inside Out 2 a 2 out of 3. It's pretty good and pretty enjoyable. Watch part 2 for my in-depth review of all things Inside Out 2. See you there.